the rich history of the Memorial High School Vocal Music Department. I walked into Memorial as a shy seventh grader to see my older sis as one of the lead roles when they did Bye Bye Birdie in 1989. I was immediately hooked. The energy on that stage was contagious and I wanted to be a part of it. So I got up the courage to be in the musicals and in choir, and as a direct result of that, acting is now my full-time job. And it all started on that stage and in the old choir room. I owe everything in my life to the vocal music department and to Dan Call for having faith in me when I didn't even have faith in myself. I chose to go to Memorial because of the legacy of the vocal music program. Uh, from the Master Works Productions, to the musicals. Every bit of it was so wonderful. There's just amazing tradition in history. Go to your friends, get friends of friends, just get in choir and just let everybody know that there's an amazing tradition in history here and that, you know, it's gotta be fought for. Being in the high school choir, for me, it helped me understand things like Mozart. You'll remember that for the rest of your life. You will be at the movies and you'll hear a piece of music play and you'll go, oh, I know that. It's because I did it when I was 17 years old and my music director thought it was awesome that I learned that. I really ended up getting into choir. Dan Call kind of pulled me in, thought it'd be fun to do some of the musicals. As I've joined multiple choirs throughout my life, these various anthems and various pieces tend to present themselves again. And so it becomes like a fabric throughout your life or a thread where you have various memories that you touch on. We just recently, two Sundays ago, sang The Lord is My Shepherd, Psalm 23 by John Rutter, which the first time I actually sang that was, which is part of his Requiem Mass, was at the Holy Family Cathedral in Tulsa with Tulsa Memorial High School. It touches upon memories that last throughout my entire life. And it reminds me of people, and it reminds me of the things we, we do as a group is far better than anything you could do individually. Music is one of the only things that you can still do when you're old. I mean, sports, all kinds of other things. You can do so many things, and then you get older and you can't do them anymore. But singing, you carry your voice with you everywhere you go. So no matter how old you get, you can still enjoy music and singing. And that is just a phenomenal thing. Hi, my name is Leah Bauer Little. Tulsa Memorial Class of 1991. I am married to Adam Little, Class of 1990, who was also my concert chorus partner. <laughs> and we have been married now for 27 years, so that is part of the vocal music department's history, perhaps ancient history now, but a fun fact about me. Here's a little secret for the guys. Girls love it when guys sing. I'm telling you. Singing, acting, I highly, highly recommend joining a fine arts program and uh, when it comes to me choir was wonderful i love it i have nothing but good things to say about being in choir choir in general was the highlight of my day at memorial it was the moment when i got to be my most authentic self when I felt that I was finally who I wanted to be. I was seen, I was heard, I could be myself. I am a professional singer. I have gone on to sing in China, Japan, Belgium, Germany, France, Spain, Bulgaria, Switzerland, Mexico, Canada. None of that would have been possible for me if it weren't for music. Music opened up an entire world me, where not only did I belong, but I thrived. But you know what is also a very good skill to have? Being able to read music, music appreciation, going to a play and understanding how that play came about, and what it is that the performers experience. 
because for us, it was all in the doing. We learned to read music. We were taught to sing. But I am an artist. I am an actor. That's what I used my well-rounded education to do. While I'm not a super strong singer, I can carry a tune. I'm, I don't read music, but I love music. And I also enjoyed acting. I so enjoyed being a part of something with a group of people where we were all becoming this amazing piece of art together. It was a wonderful part of my high school memories. And I think about family and home and just the time spent in that music room. Sure, there was time for rehearsals, but time before school, after school, just hanging out and enjoying uh, the community that we had together was certainly something that was a blessing as well. And the other thing I think about, it's just fun. We had a lot of fun. And I just want to invite all of you wonderful people to join our choir program. You don't have to be the very best singer in the world. You don't have to sing a solo. All we want is somebody to come be a part of a great musical experience, get friends, have a wonderful family built on music, and have a wonderful opportunity to do new things that you may have not been able to do before. You will be a part of a community that is just love. Not only did I get to be part of an amazing community, but I also met my best friend there, Sarah, and she and I are still best friends to this day. Such amazing music has been made in that building and around the community because of the musicians and the teachers in that building. They want to see the show that you did last night, not only the show you did last night, but better. And that means no changes. Everything that you do has to be exactly the same except with more enthusiasm and more conviction. Dan Call is just such an amazing person something so kind of mystical about that because I mean I was a band kid and, and he recruited me over and I just fell in love with the stage and the theater and theater tech I just think magic happened in those musicals it's just a big family and I was just so fortunate to get to be a part of it singing can connect you to generations before you the generations to follow I mean I'm sure you guys know Everyone in choir is very diverse. We sing lots of different kinds of music in choir. And it's fabulous that this is something that we can all come together and do. And to put your voices together with other people's is so special. Thank you to all of our alumni who participated in saying how much this music program has meant to them because it means the world to me. And there are so many more of us than you could possibly imagine that had our foundation in the arts in Tulsa Public Schools. Write letters or call or do social media posts, but, you know, fight for it. With a history like Memorial has, it needs to be fought for. I think about other shy kids like me who needed that program so badly and needed a director who believed in them and helped them to do what they always dreamed about. I am so fortunate to be able to make a living now doing what I was too afraid to do before I walked into Memorial High School for the first time. I truly hope the vocal music department is able to stay strong until the end of time. I just would encourage you all to really, really strive to get your friends involved because being with your friends in choir is awesome and those memories will keep with you forever. The choir's awesome. We'll just leave it at that. I hope you join. There are so many alumni out there from, from Memorial that are doing amazing things in the world, um, and you can join that legacy. There is a line in the TV show The Office when Andy says, I wish there was a way to know that you're in the good old days before you actually left them. But I think we knew. I think we knew that we were in the good old days. I think we knew that all those experiences we had in the choir program were going to stick with us forever. I hope you'll join choir.
Yeah.